almost never came off the court. Well, their backups would be varsity players in any other program, and we take that into consideration. There are instances where players are called upon due to injury uh, to, to fill places, and we, we, we award varsity letters to those athletes. So uh, we don't take this lightly. This is something that is very serious for us. You know, to, to, you know I teach at a different school district. I, I teach at Riverside. I coach girls basketball there. To have a varsity Morristown letter is impressive to people around the county. Uh, it is a, it is when you know when my kids at Riverside see varsity athletes from Morristown, they are impressed with them, and they should be, because we are a great school district with great athletic teams. Uh, not to say that those kids aren't great, but they are impressed with our athletes, and they should be. So this is a this is a, a very strong. Uh, award and, and we take it seriously. So we're going to call up our first two letter winners. Um, these are varsity letter winners, Will Acey and Peter Bochta. Peter, here's your certificate. Will, here's yours. Coach Lynch is figuring that out. Coach Hart's got your letters. Stand there so people can take your picture. Sure. Steve, do you have another copy of the list? That, that way, that way you can have it. Okay. Um, Steve, you can come up for it. Steve, come on over here. Stand next to me. It makes it easier. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, having freshman letter is rare. It's not something that happens every year. Uh, and this year, to have two of them is extraordinary. You know, it's extraordinary. Uh, these two guys showed up and right away coach lynch with his keen sense of what good athletes look like said hey that one kid's really big and the other kid jumps really high and they should play and he was right they should play <laughs> they, they should play um not only do they have great physical attributes but uh they work hard they work hard uh freshmen are funny in volleyball like for 98% of the time, they look like they have no clue what they're doing. Like they get on the court and you're going, what, is, what are they doing? And then for that one moment, everything goes right. And you can actually look into the future and see what they're going to be. And when these two guys got it right, the future's bright. We're excited about it. Congratulations, Dan. Our next varsity letter winner is Jackson Atkins. Um, coaching your own child is a unique experience. When your children 